Hello everybody, my name is Lego Lee and happy Throwback Thursday. We are throwing it back to the year 1999 when I was only two years old and one of the biggest new Lego themes was, well, Star Wars and then of course, Lego Rock Raiders. This set here is called the Rapid Rider. It used to retail for a whopping four US dollars and had 38 pieces. I got my copy off eBay and there was no box included, it is used. So I only have the instruction manual here, which unlike my modern Lego instruction manuals, this is literally just a double-sided piece of paper, something you'd see normally in a poly bag style set with 14 steps of building. Here are all 38 pieces included with this set, and this set is small enough, so let's do a speed build. A speed build indeed. I don't know if you caught during that speed build, but I actually didn't apply this piece on correctly. I put it the wrong way, so I had to go back, retrace my steps, and put it on the correct way. Even with that pretty large mistake while building this set, it literally took me two minutes to build this set. I probably didn't even need to actually speed it up that much for the purposes of this review. But here is the set itself. It's a very small set. You get the main vehicle build, a boulder, and then of course the one minifigure. Which I get Let's look at the figure here first. There is one single minifigure included with this set here, and that is the character Bandit. I gotta say, his torso print holds up pretty well today. Also, that binocular piece is still being used today. Same with the hard hat. However, his face print, it's got a, you know, an interesting smug expression, and I, I think it's fine. It just looks a little bit funky, especially compared to modern Lego face prints. He also has absolutely no detail from the back, so we don't even need to show that off here. But it's a pretty cool character in Rock Raiders, a little fun fact. It's one of the first ever Lego themes to have named characters. You would have known that if you listened to my episode about Rock Raiders on the Brickology podcast, which is a shameless plug to go listen to the Brickology episode about Rock Raiders on my YouTube channel, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. And here is our Rapid Rider. And I gotta say, just from a look standpoint, this thing looks really cool, and it actually has a nice boulder back here. This is a piece that LEGO doesn't really use anymore, but they've kind of remolded and made a better version of it. But this boulder here is actually two separate pieces that kind of connect together like this. On the inside, you can store things like the Power Crystal. This is a great piece that was new for the Rock Raiders line. I mean, just look at the beautiful color of this kind of transparent limish green crystal. That is a great piece. The vehicle itself, I actually think, has some pretty cool looks and decent aesthetics. I especially love the teal printed brick right here. That is very cool and gives this thing a very striking appearance. There are two lights in the front that can be adjusted like so, which is pretty nice. The rest of this vehicle here, I mean, it's very small, but it is built on the helicopter landing skids piece. So despite being small, it actually has a decent size and looks pretty good. The cockpit area right here has a printed control panel, a couple of places to store some things. You can additionally store those binoculars we saw with the bandit minifigure. You also get a buzzsaw piece right there, and it's very easy to either sit down and have your figure standing up right there, which looks pretty nice. Nice. As we move towards the back, these engines here look a little funky, but I do like their appearance, and I love this Rock Raiders logo here printed. That is very cool, and you have a nice bucket piece back here, which is perfect for storing, storing the boulder in this set. The one thing is there's no way to pick up the boulder. I would have liked to maybe seen this piece be able to move or something, because I'm not sure Bandit is strong enough to really pick up this entire thing, but I guess he might just be trying to get the crystal on the inside, which you can also easily put back there as well. And this thing slides around pretty nicely, especially on a smooth surface, making for a pretty fun little vehicle. Lego just doesn't really make stuff like this anymore. Very small impulse type sets that actually have a vehicle of some note. You see some $7 city sets here and there, but for the most part, this kind of Lego set is extinct and I miss them. This is a great little set. You actually get a vehicle that I think has some decent substance to it. The playability is solid. There's some good pieces. And of course that $4 
price point is hard to beat. This is a great set. Obviously, it's over 20 years old, so if you want to get it, you had to go on some aftermarkets like eBay or BrickLink, but I would still highly recommend it, and it's a very good way to get introduced into this Rock Raiders line. I don't really have too much bad to say about this set. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. That's a super generous rating for such a small set, but honestly, I think it deserves it. This thing is pretty great. What do you guys think? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, while you're at it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. I post daily over there. Also, follow me on Twitter. Like my Facebook page and maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter. Every small donation really helps to make all these cool videos like the one you just watched. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.